Yo, what's up? It's me, Brandini. What's up? You guys are gonna like this video. Yes, you will. I know it. Here is my comic book review for this week. Infinite Frontier number zero. I liked it. However, there were some things I did not like about it. Yeah. I will say this. One of them is the lame-ass word for Black Adam. Because Brian Michael Bendis does not want to say... Black Adam. Yeah. Shazadam. A piss poor idea. And if I were you, M Brian Michael Bendis, I would get comfortable with saying the words Black Adam. And the other one was... The other thing I did not like was DC, um, let's just say, made things a little cringy with Alan Scott. And I will leave it at that. So yeah, 8 out of 10. It's a good start, but I hope it picks up in June. I hope it picks up with what the actual event is going to be. And I can't wait. Crime Syndicate! Number one out of six. Oh my god. <coughs> I will see this. The artist knows how to draw lips correctly. Yes, lips correctly. That is what I will do for that part of the video. And, of course, he makes Superwoman pretty, pretty, pretty dang cute. I will say that. she He makes her very pretty and very beautiful, and I freaking love it. So yeah! Crime Syndicate number one. Ten out of ten. Oh my god. This was a fantastic story. Not even joking. Man Bat versus the Suicide Squad. Oh, I love it. I'm not even joking. I freaking love the entire story. It sets place before Dark Knight's Metal. When it was supposed to come out. And I like it. I really, really like it. 10 out of 10. Generations Forge! Number one! Oh my god! This was fantastic! Holy heck! This was the best comic ever for the month of February. Oh my god! I am not joking. If anything, Dan Jurgens knows how to write a really damn good book. And it has to do with screwing up the timeline. Which I like. Not joking. I love it when DC does this type of stuff. Where they fiddle around with reality. Except they made the new 52, which completely sucked. 
Yeah, that sucked. We don't talk about the new 52. Generation Forged, 10 out of 10. Suicide Squad, number one. I loved it. Not even joking. I freaking loved it. They made Peacemaker a pacifist who <laughs> looked like a badass. And, oh, wait, they did that in the Blue Beetle, too. Well, they didn't change that either. Uh, but, yeah, I loved it. This was a great, great, great book, and I'm so happy for issue number two to come out. I cannot wait. It's going to be great. Ten out of ten! The Swamp Thing, number one out of ten. I loved it. No joke. Loved it. Because, well, it's Swamp Thing. If you read any of Swamp Thing's books before, you'll probably understand what's going to be going on in this 10-piece issue, and I freaking loved it. 10 out of 10. Batman number 106. I loved it. Not joking whatsoever. Why? Well, because the writer knows how to do a good story. And the artist is pretty damn awesome. And yeah, that's going to be it for this week. I haven't done a comic book review in a while. Uh, I've been trying to do some other stuff. So, yeah, just uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Peace!